Oklahoma bill to allow teachers to be sued for quote unquote opposing religious beliefs in the good old state of local state of Oklahoma in the USA. Rob Standridge, a Republican senator from Oklahoma, has introduced a religiously inspired bill to the Oklahoma Senate known as the quote Students Religious Belief Protection Act. The bill seeks to penalize educators who oppose students' uh, closely held religious beliefs. Deeply held religious beliefs. Um, Senate Bill 1470 includes an avenue for legal sanctions that will cost teachers a minimum of $10,000. The bill's cruelty goes even further in the financial retribution, demanding that anyone found guilty of violating the bill will have to, quote, make payment from personal resources and shall not receive any assistance from individuals or groups. Any teacher who cannot manage the payment is immediately fired and barred from teaching in the state for a period of five years. The bill also recommends sweeping responsibility to school officials and staff if the school does not quote unquote immediately comply. The bill states that non-compliance with a court order according to this bill by anyone who directly or indirectly promotes opposition to a student's religious beliefs will permanently will be permanently banned from being affiliated in any way um, with all schools, all public schools in Oklahoma. According to Peter Green, a former educator and Forbes senior contributor, the bill will most likely not pass as a law as there are currently no co-sponsors and it is ripe for legal challenge. Yeah, no, this is just totally insane. So there's been a lot of stuff going on right now in the South where there's been it's not a story I've been following very closely, so pardon me if I get the details incorrect, but there, there's been, like, controversy over this school in Georgia, like, banning all these LGBTQ books and, like, outrage over that, and then they got their funding revoked because they were going to still have these books, and then so, like, furries actually raised a bunch of money for this library to still operate. <laughs> um, so, and then meanwhile, so in a different state in Oklahoma, this senator introduced a very similar bill regarding um, the banning of books that had to do with like sexuality with a particular um, emphasis on like banning books that had to do with um, gender identity because he said that it like overly sexualizes children. And then in a similar, so that was a few months ago and now he's introduced this bill, which is just like patently insane. Um, and um allows for just the like per personal retribution against teachers i doubt that this will pass because this sounds unconstitutional <laughs> this just sounds i mean i'm no lawyer but there's a lot of stuff about this that just sounds unconstitutional um i mean it could pass but then what happens it has religion in the name of the act but it's it's not that it is religion it's about religious protection okay but it's but this it's is so oklahoma so we're like okay obviously this is about privileging christian beliefs duh i mean because any other student if they were a satanist they could say oh like i don't know you having a certain feeling about banning lgbt books is actually opposing my deeply held beliefs or muslim students could do the same thing so if yeah, this was to pass this would just turn the classroom into like a freaking religious legal battlefield <laughs> where everyone's <laughs> throwing back and forth about who's you know most offended so it's just like and it would overall have a chilling effect because how is a teacher supposed to teach literally freaking anything without knowing if it might potentially offend some random child's religious beliefs. And let's be honest, when they're talking about the students' religious beliefs, they're talking about the parents' religious beliefs, okay? I, you know, I've met a few people in my life who had very firm religious beliefs as a student, but most of the time, it was like the parents who were coming back into the school environment and saying, this thing that you were teaching is, you know, we can't do that. You need permission to teach my children this blah, 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 because of our religious beliefs. It wasn't really the students who were contesting this kind of thing. I've only met a who, few kids. It doesn't really, really matter, though. It. it doesn't really matter. It's your, it's your, like, the whole, I can't believe, like, we make fun of this whole situation where, like, we say deeply held beliefs, right? When we're like, but that, like, they're like, oh, you're like, oh, it's my deeply held beliefs, deeply held beliefs, and, like, they keep using it as like, excuse or something. But now they're, like, going as far as, like, 
oh, you can't even oppose my deeply held beliefs, like your religious beliefs. Like, like they, are, they're not even like hiding how ridiculous they are, right? Like they're actually, because it's going as like it was, it was like, okay, I'm not going to get the jab because of religious beliefs or like, okay, we, we need to be excluded from this because of religious beliefs, right? But now they're like, you can't speak against my religious beliefs. Remind me, remind me who often gets accused of cancel culture, Susanna. Who is like, which side? <laughs> the <laughs> right? left. The <laughs> the left. Okay, so how is the this Dems. not? This is like, can you show me anything this insane, this level of cancel culture ever coming from the left? Like, this is the government we're talking about. This is not like, I don't know, like I don't know, this book decided to add, like, remove this racist language from one of their pages this is not like so and so i don't know journalist or like news anchor got lost their job because they they found out they did posted something on facebook like five years ago okay this is the government suggesting that hey you cannot be against you cannot be op opposing my views okay this is like cancel culture on steroids when it gets to the government i know that this i'm i know that this is this is not going to pass i mean i hope not but the fact that the government has the audacity anybody government related to even have the audacity to come and suggest like oh you cannot oppose our religious beliefs then it should make anybody realize that cancel culture is a right wing right leaning thing okay yes there's a problematic woke Sunni mujahideen on the left as well and we need to deal with it as well but the vast majority of anything sensorial or cancel culture related okay and especially the most toxic the most problematic versions of it which which is basically the government version of it comes from right leaning politicians okay i i far you know us losing our Twitter accounts, that's not a good example because we lost our Twitter accounts because of right leaning people attacking. Okay. But if you, <laughs> if you, if for people who have been canceled by on Twitter from a, like a Wokistani mob or something like that, or like people who think like, you know, they got or getting a strike on YouTube or losing your, I don't know, Facebook account over the something that you posted, that is not at all even remotely. Um, the, at the same level as anything like this, okay? So, I'm not. By the way, I'm not saying don't find cancel culture from the left, but you have if you are concerned about cancel culture, you have to be against any everything, anything conservative related, okay? Because they are they own this shit. They have invented it. They own it, okay? But yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just patently insane. Um, Kahlo is saying, does it apply to all religions? Yes, it would. So it would just be an absolute shit show <laughs> if this was actually applied I mean, they in real hope life. Whenever they suggest something like this, you know, it's a signaling to your voter base, right? And mm -hmm. when you put that out there because it's not going to get passed, um, it's just as, as a way to, for you to get popularity and votes. But the, the understanding is that to them, it will come across as this is defending Christianity, right? If, because they... I mean, they'd be religious. They're not going to think too hard about this, right? Um, <laughs> so that's what it will come across. And that's that's what it's intended to do. And it will achieve that goal. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is um, why they always get surprised when all of a sudden, like, the satanic temple shows up. I, like, you're like, not like we this. Should, like, <laughs> not there, like, like this. We didn't, we didn't consider the fact that there are other religions. <laughs> <laughs> Mustafa is saying, sounds like it could also affect books covering modern philosophy, evolution, religions, and even straight up fiction. Yes. And what's crazy is I've heard it reported two different ways. So one um, report said that it could apply where, say they said that there was a book in the classroom that was being taught that it was being objected to. There's one report that said that it would be $10,000 per day, per person, per incident. And imagine how quickly the amount that you're liable for, for like racks up from that. It's absolutely insane. And then if you open a GoFundMe because you can't afford this, then you get fired. Like you're not even allowed to do that. It's crazy. So if, if this actually was applied, there'd be zero incentive for anyone to be a public school teacher in the entire state of Oklahoma because it's too much of a financial risk. So I don't know what good this does to your state. Who would teach there? 
when they can be bankrupted over some rant any Wait, any this, random the teachers thing personally can be sued personally sued and they can hmm. only use personal funds they cannot even fundraise to cover their expenses how about how about we like say like okay sure we could pass this law as long as you could also add lack of you know protecting people's religious and lack of religious beliefs okay and then we go out and basically tell them that you cannot even mention jesus you know if you i'm gonna sue everybody who even honors the word anything god like if you if you say bless you i'm gonna sue you even if, if i sneeze and see you bless you i'm offended I just I fell attacked and I'm gonna like if you if you if you say Merry Christmas to me, you're gonna get sued. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Okay. Yeah, you so want just to add Christmas. Yeah, you were yeah, like <laughs> this is what you were promising that's gonna happen. Let's make it real. Um and then right. Dean says legislating protection of religion only serves to highlight how fragile it is. Yes. Perfectly true. put. True. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.